Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today we have a special recipe for you for our friends over at Mastering Diabetes. And today's recipe is cheesy broccoli and rice casserole. It's the all-free Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show. So today's recipe, we are we made specifically for Robbie and Cyrus over at Mastering Diabetes um, to introduce you to them and their new book, Mastering Diabetes. Uh, this is for all types of diabetes, one, one and a half, and two. Both authors happen to have type one diabetes and they've been really successful at managing their diabetes through this type of diet. So this is their new book. And they also have a course and a Mastering Diabetes coaching program um, that we will give you a special link in the details below to get over to their website and check that out. And so they're just, they're fans of our recipes and they've approved our recipes for their clients. So that's why we're doing this and we're gonna try to work together with them to create some more recipes for diabetics. So let's just get right in. I'm gonna set the book aside here. Hey guys, we got this great little video clip from Robbie and Cyrus after filming this episode. So we wanted to include it in this episode. So here's Robbie and Cyrus. My name is Robbie Barbero. And I'm Cyrus Kamala. And we're the co-founders of Mastering Diabetes. And we teach people how to reverse insulin resistance using the Mastering Diabetes method. That includes food as medicine. That includes intermittent fasting. That includes moving your body. And that includes daily documentation. We teach people living with all forms of diabetes, whether type 1, type 1.5, pre-diabetes, type 2 diabetes, and gestational diabetes, how to reverse the underlying cause of high blood glucose, which is called insulin resistance. And when you learn how to reverse insulin resistance using your food as medicine, then your whole life unfolds in you as you drop your chronic disease risk into the future. And we are very excited to have put all this information into one book the whole story, everything you need to know. You get to learn our story, you get to learn the science, you get to learn the how-to with a bunch of recipes. And the fact that we're on this channel right now with Jill and Jeffrey means the world. You guys are amazing. You are watching the right YouTube channel. Stay tuned here for more amazing recipes. Okay, so today we are making cheesy broccoli and rice. Yum. This is such a delicious and pretty simple recipe to make. So what I have here, I've got a large onion that's just diced finely. I've got roughly five cups of uh, broccoli crowns, three cloves of garlic, and then about four cups of kale that I've just chopped up really finely. So we're gonna start with the onions and my burner is already heated and we're gonna start with water. We're not gonna saute with oil because you really don't need to. Water. Water is just as effective for sauteing your vegetables without all of that added fat. It's really not necessary. So we're just gonna let these cook until they're, you know, about translucent, and then we're gonna add our other ingredients. Okay, so our onions are translucent, and now we're gonna add our other ingredients. So I'm gonna add the garlic in there and the broccoli. and the kale. And we're just gonna cook them all together until they're, you know, until the kale is wilted down roughly, until your broccoli is soft. So we're just gonna put this in here and I'm gonna put a little bit more water into my pan. So essentially, it's gonna steam a bit. So I'm gonna let this cook for roughly 10 to 15 minutes and then we can assemble our casserole. Okay, so while the broccoli and the kale mixture is finishing cooking up, I already had some rice going on the oven or on the stove. So it's two cups of rice and I only used three cups of liquid. I used two cups of vegetable broth, low sodium vegetable broth and one cup of water. So we don't want it completely cooked. So it's just a little bit chewy still because it still has to bake in the oven. So now we're gonna go on to the cheesy sauce. It's so delicious. 
So I have some raw cashews here. This is half a cup of raw cashews, three quarters of a, three quarters of a cup of nutritional yeast, one teaspoon of onion powder, three quarters of a teaspoon of turmeric, and that's what it's gonna give it that really golden yellowy color, along with some of the vegetable broth. And about half teaspoon of ground pepper. One tablespoon of white wine vinegar. One tablespoon of Bragg's liquid amino acids. And just like with my other recipes, you can use a low sodium soy sauce or a tamari, that works just the same. And then one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And that's gonna give it a really nice bite. Okay, there we go. And then I have some low sodium vegetable broth here, and it, this is about two cups. Okay, and we're just gonna mix this up until it's really creamy. And then we'll be able to get our other elements out and put it all together. Okay, so there's our cheese sauce. I'm gonna move this stuff out and get our other things out and we'll assemble this casserole. Okay, all of our ingredients are out here. We've got our rice. We've got our broccoli and kale mixture here. And the, keeping the lid on helps it to steam a bit. It helps it to cook a little bit faster. So that's what I ended up doing. So now we just assemble. So you put your rice in the bottom of the pan first. And then we're just gonna pour this on top of it. Okay, and then we're just gonna mix it in just a little bit so that it all is mixed together. Okay, and then last but not least, the cheesy sauce. Boy, you guys are just gonna be amazed at the flavor of this. So we are gonna pour all of this in there. And then we're just gonna stir it a little bit so that it, we make sure that cheesy sauce gets all the way down into the rice. I'm just gonna kind of twist it. I'm not really gonna stir so that we can keep some of that broccoli and the beautiful kale and stuff kind of onto the on the top. And I've got my oven already preheated to 350. And we are just gonna stick that in there. I'm gonna press this down a little bit so some of that moisture comes back up. And we're gonna stick it into the oven for anywhere from about 35 to 40 minutes. And it really, you know, if it just starts getting really brown, you can take it out. But you, you know, you kind of want it to just be that golden color. So onto the oven. Okay guys, look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? All right, so be sure to like and comment on this video and check out the links below for uh, the diabe Mastering Diabetes course, you know, for yourself or for someone that you love. And let's dig in. Wow, 
look at that, steaming hot. It smells so good. Wow. You are gonna love it. And I'll see you next time.